Sarvana Vana, what did it mean to you? Um, the period of time when I saw them in 1988 uh, or 89, right before their album uh, Bleach came out um, at, at a little club in LA called Raji's, and I think that was the first time they played in LA. And um, there's actually a photograph of me in the Incesticide music book where you can see me sitting in the front wearing a T-Rex shirt, um, watching Kurtz like throwing his guitar over his head or something. And, um, and I, I, at that time, I thought they were really great. I thought it sounded like, with a name like Nirvana, it seemed like they should be um, more, they should be playing the forum instead of Raji's, you know. Um, and, and I thought his voice was incredible. And it seemed to me, at that time, we were at that level of playing like, you know, we were popular in LA, but, but you know, playing like a thousand people or fifteen hundred people. Or so. But us and Jane's Addiction were sort of seen as being like the two popular bands of LA at that time. And I thought it seemed like Nirvana could be as popular as either of us were at that time. And that was what I said to Anthony as we were leaving. Anthony was who I was there with. But then I didn't hear about them. I didn't pay attention to what they did and. Um, I wasn't so big on Nevermind when it came out. A lot of people hate me for saying this, but I w being into punk since I was nine years old, I wasn't big on the idea of punk for the masses, which is what that album was, and punk for college kids, you know? I, like, there's a couple of songs I, I like on Nevermind now, but for me, the album that really got me to love Nirvana was In Utero. To me, when I heard that album, it just blew me away. I, I was so happy to hear somebody screaming like that. Obviously, even though, never mind, I, I loved his voice. His voice is obviously an incredible screaming voice, but on In Utero, I just loved the intensity of it and the realness of it and um, and and the just, uh, it didn't sound like a producer's idea. It sounded like them playing the music that they were playing. And that's why for me, that's by far their, their best album. I mean, uh, I'm a big fan of the B-sides that came from that album too. There aren't on it, like the song "Moist Vagina" and uh, what other and uh, "Sappy." So I, I, and I, I'm you know for Nirvana, I have like all the bootlegs and everything. I'm a huge fan. Like I have every everything that there is that you could get as far as uh, bootlegs go and stuff. I'm I have a pretty thorough collection. So, and, and you know, he'll always be inspiring to me as a songwriter, as a singer, as a guitarist. I love his guitar playing very much. It's like a big explosion, you know.